In this chapter of our lives, our animals have become an integral part and we try to make their time with us as fulfilling as possible. A lot of effort is devoted to making them comfortable in our company and to even seek out our attention. This makes them easy to manage but is also one of the great rewards of a small livestock holding. We have also found that animals at ease with us are at ease with each other. We pride ourselves on our animals' good health and happy disposition. So we were thrilled when our sows fell pregnant, even more so as the first piglets arrived in a healthy dozen. But our confidence was shaken when our other sow bonded with some piglets from the first litter intent on an easy meal. It became clear that they would leave nothing for the newborns, so we isolated the mother hoping she could raise her babies in peace. But it was not to be and we found ourselves in a bad situation. Well we're from Piglet Protective Services. <laughs> We've had reports that this mother has been neglecting the piglets. So what we're going to do is we're going to let her go with the rest of the pigs um, and she'll probably start feeding those other piglets who she really wants to be with. She bonded very very early um, to them. Nature played a bit well. It was a bit of bad management on our part really. We didn't give her a farrowing pen so while she was giving birth um, some of our other piglets uh, they bonded with her and, and she bonded with them and so she'd rather feed them in preference to her own. So her piglets now, um, we've got some earlier footage where they look great when we introduce them and now they're in a sorry state and we've lost two. So she's not um, milk let down, she doesn't really care about them, um, she doesn't lay down and uh, encourage them to feed. Sometimes they'll get a feed if she's laying there but if anything disturbs us she'll just jump up. So we're going to have to take matters into our own hands, we're going to have to take over their feeding and rearing which we, we really didn't want to do but we've, we've sort of let it get too far at the moment. So. She's going back with the other pigs. Um, those piglets are going to be thrilled to have her. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll take those piglets on and see if we can turn their life around. As a distraction, we threw out the pig's favourite ration, a bunch of apples we salvaged from the waste at a packing house. This allowed us to open the gate for access back to the herd of our troublesome mum. Go on, dummy. Beep, beep. Already waiting for her was one of the original litter who she had adopted. I can't believe Pacino won. Yeah. With the sow out of the way, we fetched the ailing piglets, trying to keep them from crying out. We were worried three strands of electric wire might not hold the mother if she got really angry. It all turned out fine and our new chargers stayed calm in their new transport. So we've left the strongest one, the, quite a lot bigger than the others, the little black boar. We've left it with the other pigs, it ran over to prosciutto. Um, we just let it out and it ran over to prosciutto. So I think it'll be okay, I think it'll be able to fend for itself. Um, it's only half the size of the smallest pig um, that are runt in there so and I just saw it getting milk fighting with the others so it's got fight in it and I think it'll be fine. It's much better for it to try and um, you know be raised with all the others I think it's going to be much better for it so hopefully um, yeah hopefully it makes it in here. You know what I think we should do Pascal? What? Write a book on all the uses that you can put an IBC to. <laughs> We had found pine and eucalypt sawdust at the local pallet maker, which is fantastically useful and smells great. Well, it smells nice. It, it is very absorbent and makes ideal bedding for small animals. In meadow hay? Yeah, so I think we'll put meadow hay in one, one half and leave the other half because pigs naturally want to defecate outside their bed. Yep. Um, I don't think those pigs have been pooing in there. I've, I've seen little pig poos out of there, so... But don't we have to give them a bath? Yep. <laughs> a warm bath? Yep. Right. There really is no other way of going these pigs. <laughs> he likes it. 
they quite they settle down, don't they? Once they hit this nice warm water, they're like, ooh, this isn't so bad. This is the girl. The first one was doing like this and it swiveled its head and grabbed my grabbed my thumb. Did it bite you? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a lot that's happened in the last year where I just did not foresee it. <laughs> Yes, I know. It's a pretty dire situation for both of us, I think. I'm sorry, but you're just too filthy to come inside otherwise. The first one when I was drawing it did the same thing. It was like, ah, I'm getting being eaten. Something bad's happening. Oh shush. <laughs> so cranky. Mm. I get that <laughs> Tastes like the minerals. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's quite nice and thick, actually. So, it, oh yeah, full. So each, oh. each pig we've got to try and convince to drink a whole one of these. Yeah. Four times a day. Yeah, I know. Some quick research indicated that our piglets had greasy pig disease, also known as exudative epidermitis. It is a common bacterial skin infection in piglets aged two weeks to six months old. The disease is caused by a staphylococcus infection. Greasy pig disease is highly contagious and can spread rapidly. The first signs of greasy pig disease are redness and irritation of the skin, followed by the appearance of small, fluid-filled blisters. As the disease progresses, these blisters burst, releasing a greasy yellow fluid that covers the pig's skin and make it appear shiny and greasy. We were quite pleased when our piglets showed that they could drink from a dog bowl and we could retire the bottle. They divided their time between eating and sleeping and we could almost watch them gain weight. Well, we just had to um, we just had to get rid of one of the <laughs> one of the piglets here. Um, good thing we got a big compost heap to deal with it. So We've um, we've made a, a booking for the vet. They're, they're incredibly busy here at the moment. We've made a booking for the vet, um, so we'll just have to wait till we can get in to see her. Uh, when we do, we're going to have to go and kidnap that <laughs> that piglet we released into the field. I think we'll take we'll take an extra piglet in just um, just for an extra inspection, or in case she wants to give us some some medicine there in her practice. But anyway, it's um, it's a bit of a bit of a roller coaster anyway. Come on guys, let's go and let the vet have a look at you. Don't bite me. I mm. know. Oh, I know. Oh, good pig, good pig. We are very fortunate to have a pig specialist in town to give us some much needed instruction. She confirmed our diagnosis of greasy pig disease and, given its severity, recommended penicillin injections daily for five days. Sadly, our trip to the vet came too late for one of the piglets and it died in the evening. But that left us more determined than ever to save the other two. Yep, you, you're the holder. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold them. So, you must be getting pretty good at this at the moment. Big pigs. Big pigs. Hello, big pig. 
Well, all of that fuss was number four of our penicillin injections. And um, I don't know how the pigs feel, but I'm, I'll be pretty happy when I give them their final <laughs> fifth one. <laughs> we don't really need to break the piece there. I think all of our neighbors, I'm, I'm glad they know that we've got pigs because they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to tell what we've just done. Like, tortured a parrot or something. What do you think, Jet? And Good to see there? how healthy they're looking. Well, the first couple of shots we gave them, they didn't actually make much of a fuss because they didn't have the um, strength to. Now they're getting better. <laughs> hey, big, big pig. <laughs> day by day, we could see the piglets get stronger and hungrier. Oh. As you can see, our pigs are um, they're healthy, they're inquisitive, they're chewing everything, including me. Um, we've, we've got them back to health now, so we're going to go put them at, back with the adult pigs um, who are still lactating, and a few, a few of the, the, the runts who we've left on the milk. So hopefully, the strength that they're showing here in the cage will carry them through. Come here, you. Come here. <laughs> oh, okay, better buckle it up. It's not buckled up. Clips aren't on. Jet used to fit in there. So yeah. snug. Yeah. This, um, oh, those two are heavy pigs. Mm. One of these little carry crates has been super, super handy. Um, I didn't I didn't anticipate how good it would be but like getting baby animals um, poultry also before we um, put a few chickens in the pot they can go in this overnight we put lots of straw in um, they clean themselves out before we before we process them the next day we, we use this every month for something at the moment it's pig transport let's see if, how I'm gonna go carrying this yeah, no worries heavier than what they were though huh Hey you guys, the children there, they're yeah. home. They've really, liked, um, they've really liked being in here the last week. Mm. It's obviously nice and cosy, but I'm looking forward to not having this on our veranda. Mm. <laughs> Big transport. Too busy, um, like look, it's going for nutrients in the soil. Oh, this one's. I know. <laughs> well, there you go, it looks like they've settled in just fine. Uh, the big pigs will be able to look after them better than we can, and it's important that they um, socialize. You know, we didn't want them to respond to us uh, fully so they can fight it out with the other pigs, even though they're at a bit of a disadvantage. But it doesn't look like they're urgently seeking food, trying to, trying to get the, the mum to feed. They're more interested in sniffing around in the dirt here. So I think we'll just leave them to it.
Well, it's been a week since we released the piglets. I think they're doing pretty well. You can come and have a look. I think their skin condition is really clearing up. They're still kind of skinny, you know, and compared to the other <laughs> roly-poly pigs, um, they're very runty, but they're doing well. They're doing great. So we're going to throw a whole bunch of potatoes in um, and we can see how it all goes. Before we get in too close to the, the bigger pigs here, um, I just want to point out that we've taken all the biggest pigs and weaned them off and they're over in their other spot and we'll go and give them some potatoes in a second, but um, all of these were sort of the runts and that's why we've really thinned it out and then our other two, other two pigs are in recovery, they stand a much better chance of, um, of getting a feed, which is good. <laughs> and here she is here taking, taking advantage of the situation. You just stay still. Right, just give her a feed. So as you can see, oh, <laughs> as you can see, all uh, past sins are forgiven. Prosciutto, now that there's no babies involved, she's back to her friendly self. Well, these babies are involved, aren't you? But she doesn't mind just handling them now. As long as they don't, as long as they don't cry out, she really doesn't care. So this piglet doesn't look too bad. Um, Still a little bit scrawny, you know, so because it really has to fight for its milk. Um, but all of those scabs have fallen away, so its hair is growing back pretty nicely. And this other little male that was with her, well, he's looking great. Why don't you lay down? Make yourself comfortable. Mm, belly rubs. If you disturb it too much, she'll get up. Yeah. Problem. Oh. Same old trick, say. Same old trick. What do you think, guys? I love them. I think it's a competition thing, huh? Mm. We've had nearly 40 millimeters of rain here um, in the last two days. So normally these pigs look quite shiny and glossy. Here's, here's a, a picture of me sort of patting some in the past when it wasn't so bad. But now um, it's really like quite muddy in this holding pen where we've got them. Not that the pigs mind, but they just don't look as good as they normally do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like this pig. 